Hey guys, so I'm gonna be showing you two ways on how to get over the green wall. Now, I don't recommend anybody to build out here because you have a good chance of getting banned. Also, 100% of the credit should go to my buddy LT Croc that showed me how to do this, and my friend this Matthew. With that being said, let's begin. The first method is gonna be over here by the desert between J and K3. Once you're here, you have to build this tall tower that's gonna be almost close to 200 foundations high. You're also gonna need a chest with a bunch of nags inside, and they're all gonna need light saddles for the extra speed. Also any type of water fountain with a bedroll and a bed and with some beehives for uh, extra food. So basically what you're going to be doing here is just simply jumping over the green wall. Because as you can see here the green wall ends at a certain level and you're able to build higher than that so you can get over the wall. Now once you reach the limit of how high you can build that's where you're going to have to build your platform which you're going to be jumping off from. Make sure you have your bed at the base of the platform and you can go ahead and access your nags inventory so you can start putting in all the items that you're going to need once you're over the green wall. Also make sure you have some foundations on your hotbar to start placing them as soon as you hit the ground. And now just go ahead and jump and try to aim for this spot over here. There, I was able to place three foundations. Now it's going to be kind of tricky to place them because there's a lot of area that you're not allowed to build on. And now I'm jumping again and this time it's going to be for me to place my bedroll on the foundations that I just built. Also be careful not to undershoot because you're going to be hitting an invisible wall if you do. And then you're not going to have enough time to place anything down there on the ground. And now with your bedroll down here, you could just simply spawn and look for the nag that has all the stuff that you need. So again, make sure you have enough nags for you to make a lot of jumps. Because if you're doing this for the first time, it's going to probably take you several jumps for you to place the foundations and your bedroll. Here I'm just going to show you other different tiny little spots where you can put some foundations. And they're going to be in front of the rock where I built the jump tower. And now here's an overview from the top so you can get a better idea as to where you can place your foundations. Now you're free to explore anywhere beyond the green wall and um, it's good to walk around with the foundation so you can see where you can build. And also careful with the green wall because you're not going to be able to see it from this side that well. So now I'm going to show you the second method. For this you're going to have to go to the volcano and have all the items that are listed on screen. Okay, now that I'm here, I just go through this doorway that's going to be on the right. And here I'm just going to jump down and try to make it to the other side of this lava river. Now that I'm here, I just run up the mountain while also keeping this lava close to my right.
Okay, now look to your right, and if you see these two lava streams that are flowing into one, then that means you're at the right spot. You can rest up here, and now you have to climb sideways to get closer to that lava. And now when you make it over here, you just start climbing up. And you're gonna see this gap here that's uh, glitched out and you can go right through it. Now just go inside and follow this small path here. And now once you're here, you're gonna have to do some climbing and try to stay to the right and as low as possible to this ridge because if you go over or a little bit too high, then you're gonna be pushed outside the mesh and you have to do that climb again. Once you're over that part, keep going to the right and careful not to fall too fast because there's some parts of the mountain that goes inwards and you won't be able to grab onto them. I usually keep climbing to the right until I see these two edges here and then I start making my way down. Okay now that you're on the ground you have to look for this vertical mountain wall here that has nothing on the back uh, and you can walk right through it. And now just keep going straight and look for the spot here that I'm going to show you in a few seconds. Okay, so I made it to the spot and uh, I'm gonna pull up in my map and we can say that I'm at, uh, what, 13KL? From here you're gonna be running into this invisible wall that's gonna be constantly pushing you back, preventing you from going to the other side. So to get across this wall you're gonna have to build a foundation as far as possible as you can. This is going to allow you to place your bedroll on the other side so you can port. And now to transfer some of the items in your inventory, you can either have a throw follow you all the way over here, which I mean it sometimes works because you know you're going to be going through lava so your follower might die. Or you can simply drop all the items that you want to transfer over and then push the bag to your bedroll with a highlighted foundation. So when you spawn on your bedroll, the items are going to be on this side and you can just grab all the items that you dropped. And now that you're here, you can go to all those areas that's behind the green wall. And now if you want to go to the desert part of the map, then you're going to have to go all the way down south and then once you reach the corner of the map, you start going west after that. But yeah, guys, that's how you get over the green wall and now you can go ahead and, and explore and see what you find out there. Uh, maybe you can report some bases that are built out there as well by players and um, just careful when you're out there guys. Alright, thank you for watching and uh, have a good one.